Spontaneous YouTube videos. Hey, what's up you guys? It is Troy Sivan and no, you are not seeing things. This is like my third YouTube video in a week. I don't know if it's this hotel room or if it is just like me feeling extra sentimental and connected to you guys or what, but I am just in a youtube -y kind of mood. So I thought that I would make another video today. And so I asked you guys to ask me questions using the hashtag AskTroy on Twitter. And um, these are the questions that you came up with. Let's go. All right then. Question number one is when are you getting new jeans? You shady little B word. I wear the same jeans every single day and everyone knows it and I'm not ashamed, but I'm gonna get some new ones as soon as possible. Just for you. What shoes are you wearing? Currently none. Shy Bear asks, what do you miss? I miss my friends. My family's been out on tour with me for, for a lot of the tour, so that's been really, really nice, but I really, really do miss my friends. But the nice thing is that I'm actually going home to Perth for like a month in between now and my next US tour. So I am gonna just like sleep and hang out with them and um, have a normal kind of like chilled summer in Perth, so I can't wait. Troy Darling asks, are you happy with your Instagram feed? I'm happy with it aesthetically, but I must admit that it's probably the source of like 90% of the stress in my life. Basically, I have one of those themes, if you haven't seen, you can follow me on Instagram, it's just Troy Sivan, but if you haven't seen, it's one of those themes that like spreads out across multiple photos, and it looks really, really cool, but it also means that if I post one photo instead of three, everything gets messed up. So. How am I gonna get out of it? I don't know, you guys are just gonna have to probably be patient with me. Forgive me if I mess it up and, um, I don't know, just pretend like nothing's happened. Please, spare me. Avocado Savant says, do you like my tattoo? It's a tattoo of wild, and it's real because I can see the swelling around it. Lord in the heavens above, I do. Thank you for your commitment. I gotta say that on this tour, I saw one girl at a show had the lyrics of Ease tattooed on her thigh. I've had people tattoo suburbia on their arm. It makes me extremely nervous just because I find tattoos like unsettling because I literally can't decide like what shoes I want to wear and I only have two pairs of shoes so let alone like what I want to put on my body for the rest of my life but um thank you so much love you hope I get to meet you one day and I'll give it a little like rub or something is that weird what's your favorite lyric from Blue Neighborhood it's so hard but I think one of the first ones that came to mind when I was writing and we said this in the room everyone like gasped. I think I was writing with, so I was writing with Leland, Ali X, and Brian Minskor, who I wrote like a lot of the songs with, and I'm pretty sure Ali X said this lyric first, and it's, so what are you waiting for? Cause someone could love you more. And it just like breaks my heart every single time. When she said it, I literally gasped, and I was like, oh my God, that is such a sad lyric. It's perfect. Best part about performing live. The best part about performing live is um, looking out, and I love like, I see little couples canoodling and like kissing and stuff and like, I don't know, having their arms around each other, having a little moment, and then I'll look over there and there'll be like one person with their eyes closed just having their own moment, and then I'll look right to the front and someone's like reaching out trying to touch my hand. I don't know, it's just all around, it's a pretty like surreal experience, but I just love like looking at the crowd and seeing what everyone's kind of up to. From the European tour dates, which of the countries have you not been to before? I just announced that I'm touring Europe again. I literally just got back from Europe and I'm already announcing the next one just because I love it so much. I'm coming to Dublin, I've never been there before. I've never been to Glasgow, I've never been to Manchester, I've never been to Birmingham, I've never been to Antwerp, I've never been to Madrid, I've never been to Munich, I've never been to Vienna, I've never been to Cologne, I've never been to Hamburg, I've never been to Copenhagen, I've never been to Oslo. And I'm going other places too, so check my Twitter. But those are just the places that I haven't been to, so I have a lot to look forward to. Have you ever licked the microphone while singing? No, but there was this one show where I had my water bottle and I had my microphone, and then I went to sing and I sung into the water bottle instead of the microphone. <laughs> you look cute here. Thank you. Is there any news on the new Sydney show date? Yes, there is. I have announced my new Australia dates. Unfortunately, I got really, really, really sick when it came to doing my Perth and Sydney show, and so I had to postpone them. But we've announced the new dates. All of the details will be in the description. Plus, I'm playing a bigger venue in Sydney, so more people can come. I'm really, really excited about that. And of course, I'm really, really excited about Perth. Plus, 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 thanks to everyone at Coke and their new cans. I've spoken about these before because I'm obsessed with them, but they change color depending on the temperature. So like you'll be drinking it and it's all pretty and purple and stuff like that. And then you put your hand on it and it goes white. You can actually win tickets to come and see me live in Sydney this January and we'll get to have a little bit of hang time. It's a very easy competition to enter. I've put all of the details in the description bar. I can't wait to see you and good luck. I just saw that Ask Troy is trending worldwide. Woo! Jana or Jana, oh dear life, says, what was the inspiration for writing cool? I posted this video on Twitter the other day, but here's a video of me and Alex, the moment where we figured out what the like post-chorus melody is, just so you can see what it's like to write. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, I think that is it for this week's video, you guys. I hope you liked it. I'm really enjoying making these spontaneous little videos in my hotel room. I love you guys so much. I will see you on Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram and YouTube and everything. My album, Blue Neighborhood, is out now everywhere. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Bye!